Straight for the janitor's closet studio in the basement of DeVry University is the Janitor Dwight Podcast. So what you're going to hear in this podcast is I was contacted by a listener out uh, about a week or so back and he was letting me know that these irs scammers were calling one of his friends so he put out a phone hit on the irs scammers the following is what happened when dwight gets a hold of him and basically gives him just a whole lot of shit Mr. Raj, how can I help you? Hi, I received a message and uh, asked for me to call back. Yes, um, can you help me out with your home phone number on which you receive a phone call? Yeah, it's... Uh... Okay. Okay. Your home phone number is... Um... Right. Okay. Just give me a moment. Sure. And this is the treasury department, and my name is Marilyn Henry, and my debt ID is 117480. And so the reason you are contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your name by the IRS. And this is regards to your federal taxes for the year of 2010, which is not taken care of. And I hope you have received the notices from IRS in this regard. Uh, well, I, I got I got your message. Is that this is the IRS then? No, no, sir. This is U.S. Treasury Department. Oh. And I hope you have received a notice from IRS in this regard, sir. I'm telling about a notice, not a phone call, sir. Oh. And I know that you received a phone call from our office today, but I am telling the notices was delivered by IRS. Yeah, yeah, the notices, yeah, I got notices. Sorry? Yeah, I got notices from the IRS. You have received the notice or yeah. you have not received? No, I, I got them. You get them, uh, when? When you get them? Um, I don't remember the date. My wife told me about it. So I don't know. She gets the no, mail. No, sir. You have to remember the year, the year when you received the notification from IRS. I don't remember. I'm telling about the notices delivered by IRS and name is CP503 notice. Yeah, I don't know. My wife handles that stuff. That's okay, fine. Just give me a moment, sir. Okay. Are you there, sir? Yeah. Okay, and okay. let me ask you a question. Who filed your taxes in the year 2010? Uh, well, my wife took took care of that. But it's, I, You're I, not, si- no, your I wife, signed it. Your, I signed it, though. We didn't file together. I filed separately. No, your wife filed your taxes in the year 2010? Yeah. And Or you hired a CPA? Uh, yeah, we took an H&R block. Okay, H and R block. Okay, and before I go ahead, and in the year of 2010, when your taxes were filed, they were filed incorrectly. While filing your taxes, there have been certain miscalculations, errors, and discrepancies that came about. So the amount you ended up filing that year did not justify the amount you should have filed. And when IRS reviewed your case file. They found that there is still an amount showing outstanding on your name. How, how and much IRS is outstanding? Sent that, sir, yeah. um, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. And uh, el- the outstanding amount for the year of 2010 is $6,930. $6,930. As there are some mistakes, miscalculations in filing your taxes in the year of 2010, 
and when IRS reviewed your case file, they found that there is an amount is still pending out over your name for the miscalculations, errors, and discrepancies. And at first, I want to ask you a question, sir. Mm. And now you are you are returning a phone call from your home phone number or your cell phone number, sir. Oh, it's my home phone. Your home phone number yeah. uh, that you you given to me. Yeah. Okay, sir. And um, at the moment, and um, my supervisor will call you right now, and you have to you have to talk with him, and he well, will kill you, and I'll, he will well, prescribe you. Because I'm I'm leaving the house, so if we if they want to continue, I'm just I'm transferring the house phone to my cell phone. But if you want to put him on the line now? He can talk to me now. Okay. Can you give? Can then? Can you give you give me your cell phone number so that he will call you on your cell phone number? Uh, yeah, I can give you my cell phone number. Um, are you ready? Okay. Okay, sir. Sir, um, okay. I'm 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 going to disconnect this phone line, and my supervisor will call you on your cell phone call number. You. He will call you right now, and I'm giving you him the phone number of your cell phone number. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm disconnect this phone line, sir. Thank you for that. Receive receive the phone call. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh huh. All right. In case you guys didn't know, I, uh, somebody has asked me to call these fucking IRS scammers that are messing with them. Uh, so I gave them Lenny's number. So they're gonna have fun talking to Lenny in a minute, and then I'm gonna call back. And tell them that they got the wrong number or some shit. And now I'm on my cell phone. and All that good stuff. Yeah, this is Senior Officer David Frank speaking. Can I help you? Yeah, uh, I was talking to a young lady there before. And she said the supervisor was going to call me back on my cell phone. Because I, I was leaving the house. And he never called back. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, this is Supervisor David Frank, sir. I was trying to reach you, sir. Oh, okay. Okay, but I didn't get you. Okay, now, how can I help you, sir? Oh, I, I had left am the house, uh, am so I you were supposed to call me, uh, is what she was explaining. I didn't know what was going to happen beyond that. Am I speaking to... And whom am I speaking to, sir? I'm sorry? You, do I need to give my, and whom my information again? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now, Mr. Garnton, now, did you understand what she was trying to say, or you want uh, me to make you understand again? Well, you, you can go over it again. I know she said that there was misfilings on my 2010 okay. taxes. Okay, now, Mr. Garrison, uh, before I go ahead and explain you the thing, can I ask you one question, if you allow me? Sure. Now, do you file your taxes by yourself, or do you hire an accountant to file your taxes? Oh, I had H&R Block do my taxes. Okay, Mr. Gerenson, listen to me carefully. Now, what has happened, back in the year 2010, when your taxes were filed by the H&R Block, they have done something wrong while filing your taxes. There are lots of mistakes, errors, and discrepancies that came about, and that is the reason the amount you ended up filing that year did not justify the amount you should have filed. And when the IRS reviewed your case file, they found that there is still an amount outstanding on your name due to these errors, miscalculation, and discrepancies. Now, that is when IRS sent the confidential notice called the CP503, but IRS didn't get any reply from your side. Now, Mr. Garrison, why haven't you responded to any of those notices? My question is that now. I, I didn't think it was that important. I, I ripped it up. Sorry? I didn't think it was very important. I, I, I ripped it up. Now, Mr. Goranson, the CP503 notices were sent out, and in that notices, the discrepancies was mentioned. Now, Mr. Goranson, at this point of time, I can't solicit for something that you say you haven't received and for something that IRS has evidence for, okay? Now, the only reason why we have contacted you by phone, because today your case file has been forwarded to the United States Treasury Department to close your file on an immediate basis. Now, they have filed a case of tax evasion on your name. And Mr. Gorenson, tax evasion is a financial crime. So that is the reason there is an arrest warrant issued out on your name for your arrest at this moment. Now, the moment you disconnect this phone line, I will have to sign this paper off and I will have to send the investigating officer to come down and see you personally. Because the IRS thought that you are trying to evade taxes and you are trying to run away from the situation. Am I right, Mr. Gorenson? Uh, 
I, I just, I just uh, didn't feel like paying them. I mean, Sorry? I, I just didn't feel like paying them. You, you're just saying I could be arrested for this? Uh, yes, because the fact remains that at this point of time there is an outstanding amount on your name. And Mr. Garrison, IRS did try to notify you. Now, when you did not respond to that notice, they thought that you are trying to evade taxes and you are trying to run away from the situation. So that is the reason your case file has been forwarded to the United States Treasury Department. Oh. Yeah, I, I mean, I, ha I have been trying to avoid them, really. Sorry? I have been trying to avoid them, because I, I don't know, I just, like, it's my money and I don't want to give it to them. Okay, sir. So you may disconnect this phone line. I will, I'm having my officer from the Financial Crime and Enforcement no, no, Network. No, no, they were going to visit your place. Don't do that. No. I can't go to jail. You'll have to go to jail, sir. I can't, because I can't. you tried to evade taxes. You told me. You told me over this federally monitor and recorded phone no, lines no, can we, can that we, you're trying. Uh, can, can, we, can, we, can we do something about this? I, I can't. No, I can't do this. No, I would suggest you to get yourself a criminal attorney so that the attorney can bail you out after three months and he can represent you in the courthouse after three months. The, attor the attorneys can cost more than the money to pay the, uh, the, uh, the IRS. No, no, sir. You, we can't do that. Can I pay you guys now? Or? No, no, no. <laughs> he fucking hung up. <laughs> I'm going to jail. This is the How can I help you? Hi. Um, I was talking to somebody who got disconnected. Um, I, I, I owe taxes, I guess. Okay. Am I speaking to Mr. Okay. And uh, I hope you talk to my supervisor. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Frank, yeah, he said I was going to jail, and I don't want to go to jail. Yes, David Frank is one of my senior supervisor, and you talk with him. Yeah, I know that. And, uh, and you, you are not um, supposed to go to resolve this matter, so you have to wait for 45 minutes, Mr. Jeffrey, for instance. And our investigation officers will be there in 45 minutes. And they will take you into custody for a non bailable state yeah, term of I'm not at home, so they're not, they're, they're not going to get me. Sorry? I'm not at home, so they're not going to get me. I'm going to go stay in a hotel tonight. But I know that you are you are at home right now. No, and I you are calling home. from your home phone number. No, no, no. You are calling from your home phone number. How do you know that? And I... And you give me your... And you give me your cell phone number also, but I tried to call you on your cell phone number, but the line is not so good. So that's why, um, at the moment, what your intention? The last time I'm asking you, sir. I, I want to take care of this, but the last guy said I got to go to jail. He said that people were coming to arrest me. And our investigation officers will be there with all the documentations and paperwork, and they will take you into custody for a non bailable jail term office. Uh, is, it, is it the Banchod so, police? Banchod? <laughs> this is West Rajri, senior supervisor, Ashley Morgan speaking. Can I help you? Yeah, these people tell me I'm going to jail, but I want to make it right. Me? Now I'm speaking of Mr. Zafri Garnson. Yeah. You go and fuck yourself, you stupid. I'm not stupid, bitch. <laughs> uh, apparently, I'm stupid, though. <laughs> Hello? Hi, um, I had a message. Uh, yes, sir. This is U.S. Treasury. I'm Officer Jessica Watson. Can you help me out with your home phone number on which you received the call? Yes, I can. Um, are, are you ready for the number? 
Yes. Okay. It is. Yes, Mr. Jeffrey. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good, sir. So, uh, the reason you were contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions filed on your name by the IRS. This is to do with your federal taxes for the year 2010, which is not taken care of. Do you have any idea about this, sir? Or I, do, you have, I, do you know anything about this? I don't know anything about this. Okay, sir. So what happened? There are severe criminal allegations that are pressed on your name by the Treasury Department for not filing the taxes completely and correctly for the tax year of 2010. Now before I go ahead and brief you regarding what is going on, I want you to tell me something very honestly over this federally monitored and recorded phone lines. Who filed your taxes in the year 2010? Did you file them by yourself? Or yeah. did you have a CPA to do it for um, you? No, I had, yes, um, I had h and Block do it. Oh, wait, you said 2010? Uh, yes, sir. Oh, 2010. No, 2010. I used TurboTax. I did it myself that year. Okay, sir. Uh, no problem. What happened in the year 2010 when your taxes were filed? They were filed incorrectly. While filing your taxes, there have been certain miscalculations, errors, and mistakes that came about, due to which the amount you ended up filing that year did not justify the am amount you should have filed. And when IRS reviewed your case file, they found that there is still an amount outstanding on your name due to these errors, miscalculations, and mistakes. That is when the IRS sent forward a confidential notice called the CP-543 notice out to your address on which you file your taxes every year. Now may I ask you, Mr. Jeffrey, why haven't you responded to any of those notices, sir? Um, well, really, I have this uh, parakeet, and I take all my junk mail and I, I line his cage to poop on it. Um, so that's where I put it. Okay, sir, no problem. Now, sir, the uh, reason why we have contacted you today is to inform you that today IRS has forwarded your case files to the U.S. Treasury Department to close this on an immediate basis. They have filed a case of tax evasion on your name, and tax evasion is financial crime, as you know. There is an arrest warrant issued out on your name for your arrest at the moment. And the moment I disconnect this phone lines, Mr. Jeffrey, I will have to sign these papers off and send the investigation officers to come down and see you personally with all documentations, paperwork and evidence regarding this tax issue and take you into custody for a non believable jail term of three years. Oh Is there anything you'd like to say about this situation, Mr. Jeffrey, or otherwise I have to sign these papers off? And I have to how, send how my much, officers at your how place. How do I owe? Uh, sir, the amount for the year 2010 inclusive of the due amount, late payment charges, and interest is $7,150. How do I take care of that? Because I, I don't want to go to jail. Uh, sorry, sir. I can't help you out with this. Okay. Because as what, warrant what, has already been issued. What do I need to do? Uh, yes, uh, hire, an, hire a criminal attorney for yourself so that he can represent you at court. Well, I'm, I'm actually at my attorney's office. I had an appointment today. Here, you can speak with him. Yeah. Motherfucker. What's up, nigga? Gangsta rap, nigga. Nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 100% nigga. You tell nigga, me. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 200% nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. Why do police hate nigga? He's very upset. Hello? Sir, can you just play it again for me? Why? Sir, can you just play it? Play it again for me, sir, Wait, please. Why? No, that's my attorney talking. Uh, can you please play it for me again, sir? Play what? That was my attorney talking. Your your attorney talking right right now to me? Uh, my no, my attorney. That was him talking.
Okay, hang up this call, son. No, fuck you. I'm not hanging nothing up. You understand, huh? Hello. I'm not hanging up. Why is he telling me to hang up? Uh, what happened, sir? I don't know what happened. He told me to hang then up. Then why are you are shouting? Why are you are shouting? That was my attorney yes, shouting. Sir. He was upset. Okay, no problem. OJ so Simpson no just got off. Just I'm got off saying. of the charges. He was upset. Okay, no problem, sir. I'm not saying that you should pay this off. I'm just informing you. Now it's up to you pay, or uh, if you want to pay this, pay this off, or otherwise you can I hang up the call. I don't think I'm gonna pay. My attorney says I don't have to. Uh, no, 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 no problem, sir. No problem. I even don't want your money. You know, I, I think you're kind of being uh, a model children, which is unacceptable. Sorry, Hello? Yes, sir. What's going on? I'm here. Nothing, sir. So, how long have you been working there? Mm, it's almost been uh, one month. One month. So, like, you ever go yeah. out? You ever go out on dates with guys that you call? So this is our work. I only used to uh, give them information. Yeah. I never used to transfer. What do you look, what do you look like? Yeah. What, what do you look like? Sorry. I look like. Yeah. What do you look like? How tall are you? Ah, uh, I'm about uh, five two. Five two. What color hair? Sir, sir, now you're being personal. I have to hang up this call. No, just ask me a color, hair color. That's not personal. That is, that is personal no, for me. No, personal sir. would be how big are your breasts? Now I'm hang up. In, now I will hang up this call. But you can't send the, you can't send the agent because you said if I hang up, but you're hanging up. I'm not violating. <laughs> Hello? Yes, hello, I got a message. Can you help me out uh, with your home phone number on which you got the message? I sure can. Yeah, this is uh, Jessica over here, sir. Hi, how are you? I'm good, sir, I'm good. I want to let you know, I saw the investigator that you guys sent and I ran. I took off in my car. Sorry? You guys sent an investigator to come take me into custody and I ran. I took off. I've evaded capture. Okay. Okay. So, so where do we go from here? From where? Where do we go from here? $1.50. So is that you who called me before before this also, right? No, you were talking no, about no, that wasn't me. That was you, sir, right? No, it wasn't me. It was somebody else. You transferred your call to your you know attorney, what? right? No, no, I don't have an attorney. Before, yes, sir. You transferred your call to attorney? No, I don't have an attorney. This was you. Okay then, sir. Have a nice day. Why are you being a bitch to me? So, uh, what should I do? You should be nice to me. I'm an American. And I could give you love and I can I get am. you a green card. No, no, no. I don't want anything, sir. You're not American. You're not even in America. Sir, so I don't want you anything. You want to come to I America? Will do the, I will do job. No, no, no. I don't want to come to America. If I want, then I will do job. I've so done money just, and I will come just admitted. You just admitted you're not in America and you're not with the IRS, so you're a liar. Why are you trying to lie to me? Yes. I'm I would, not lying. I would make love to you in ways you've never imagined. 
No, I don't want your love. Why not? I love you. <laughs> See, I make you laugh. I make you laugh already. See, we're, we're hitting it off. No, sir. So is work, is work really hard today? Is it a lot of assholes calling? I love you. So I'm hanging up this You want to come live in my trailer? I have a big trailer. No, sir. No. Thank okay, you it's so a huge trailer. There's running water and everything. Thank you so much, sir. But I, I don't want anything. So I'm happy you, where over you, here. Where you at? Where are you at right now? Sir, bye. I said. I'm making this lady extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> Hello? Hi! Yes, this is U.S. Treasury. I'm Officer Jessica Stone speaking. How can I help you? Jessica, you hung up. I thought we were, you were going to come live with me. May I know your name, sir? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, you, would you like my number? Your number, please, yes, sir. Yes, Mr. Jeffrey. Why are you calling again and again? I don't want to talk to you. But I want to get to know you. Sure, but I don't want to talk to you, right? Why not? Correct. Do you have a cell phone I call you later? <laughs> I call you when it's not work hours? No, no, sir. Thank you so much. Come, come on, let me. I want to be your friend. I love you. Sir, I have... Can I talk to the supervisor? Right. Can I talk to the band supervisor? So if I transfer this call to supervisor, then you have to pay the money. I'll pay the money. I'll pay the money. You'll pay the money, I'll really? Pay, I'll How pay much? the money. Well, he says I owe oh, like seven thousand. Yeah, did you pay seven thousand for me? Oh yeah, I, I would pay seven thousand for you. You sound very nice and sweet, and very nice. Okay, okay, then I will transfer this call to supervisor, and I will oh, no, see wait, if wait, you are paying. You want me to pay seven thousand for you? Yes. And then you come see me. Yes, sure. Okay. When, where should I send okay. money for, to, for you? Okay, okay. Okay. Hello? This is U.S. Treasury. I'm officer. Oh, Mr. Jeffries. It's Mr. Jeffries! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta Mr. Jeffries! Yeah, Mr. Jeffries. Uh... So where do I send money for you? Officer, okay, talk to my supervisor. He will explain you. Okay, okay. how right. to transfer the money. Okay. 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 Hold on. Let me talk. This is Brian here. You want to transfer money to our account? Yes. All right. So, do you have credit card in your possession? Uh, no, I don't have credit cards. Uh, I would have to get. Like a transfer, money transfers? Yeah, 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 you can wire this money. Uh, do you know Western Union? Western, yeah, Western Union? Yeah, you can send the money from there only. Okay. I can give me, give you my uh, ID and you can send this money. So if you have a pen and paper handy, then you can write it down. Okay, I'm grab a pen. Okay, all right, um, yes. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the information that you will need to wire this money is my name, that is Brian, B, B as in Bravo, R, R as in Richmond, I, I as in Indiana, A as in Alpha, N, N as in Nancy, Brian, Specter, S, S as in Sam, P, P as in Pennsylvania, E, E as in Echo, C, C as in Charlie, T, T as in Genesis, O, O as in Ohio, R, R as in Richmond, Spectre. Mm -hmm. My city will be, uh, my state will be, state will be New York, and my phone number will be, mm -hmm. um, it's, 
is it? Yep. It's five one six five nine five eight two two seven. All right. Cool, this will be sufficient. This will be sufficient to wire this amount. And once you wire this amount, just give me the reference ID. I will withdraw this money. Okay. Just call me back when you will wire this amount. Just call All right. Directly. Now I'm transferring this call. Yes. Now I'm transferring this call to the lady. Okay. Oh, he hung up. He didn't transfer. I didn't feel the need to bleep out his information because he's a fucking asshole trying to take money from people. So the privacy afforded by Dwight does not apply to him. Thank you. You are Treasury, how can I help you? Hi. My name is Mr. Jeffries. Okay. How can I help you, sir? There, there is a Jessica there. And she's got some boobies and some titties. And she, I want to pay money so I can have her. Really? Please. How much you want to How much you want to pay, sir? Seven thousand dollars. That's too late, sir. She's too hot for. What's she look like? Twenty thousand dollars. I tried. I tried to ask her. She won't tell me. I can't pay big money for someone who won't even tell me what she looked like. She's a. She is really a hot lady, sir. What does she look like? Come on, describe. What? How tall? Uh, she looks like. It like Beyonce. Her figure is like oh, Beyonce. Oh, that's gross. I don't want none of that. I don't like black ladies. <laughs> I hung up on him. This is U.S. Treasury. I'm Officer Jessica Watson speaking. How can I help you? I need to talk to Brian Inspector. Uh, hold on. Okay. May I know your name? Yeah, I the money. I wired the money. You wired the money? Is this Mr. Jeffrey? Yeah, it is. Um, can I have the reference ID? Can I, uh, so can I have your reference ID? My, yeah. It's, uh, let's see here. Hang on. Okay. It's 14 one four three nine eight six seven eight four one, right? Right. Oh, okay, sir. Thank you so much. I'm coming. I'm coming. Are you coming? Like sexually, or are you coming to my place? She hung up. I'm so glad they're happy to have that fake money that was never sent. Hello. You are trash, we're not gonna help you. Yeah. Motherfucker. What's up, nigga? Gangsta rap, nigga. Nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 100% nigga. Nigga, 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 nigga. I'm 200% nigga. That's awesome. Nigga, 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 Give me more songs, uh, fucker. Give me more songs. Well, you, son, you son of a bitch, son of your, motherfucker. You're not the son of your father. You're not the blood of your father. You are the son of me. Haha. <laughs> son of an owl, you I, I motherfucker. Fucked, I fucked your mom, and you gave birth to you. Haha. Oh, <laughs> you have you sister. Are, you bring your yeah. sister in front of me. Come in front of me. Yeah, you can fuck her because you don't have a dick to fuck her, I, motherfucker. I fuck her <laughs> and impregnate her with big white you, American baby. You, you, you can't. You have a small, tiny, one-inch dick. You can't, fucker. Oh yeah, I can. You need a, you need, you need an eight-inch long dick to fuck her, motherfucker. Yeah, well, you curry <laughs> motherfuckers don't have no eight-inch dick. Hey, fucker. Fucker. Loser. 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 Listen. Yeah, suck my dick. Suck what, my what dick. What's the smell in there? People are asking. Does it smell like curry and bo in there right now? No, it's better than your sandwiches, motherfucker. Sandwiches. 
Ah, sandwiches. <laughs> I like to eat cow myself. I like to have burger. Hey, dude, no problem. Yeah, I eat, I'll I eat inject your cow, motherfucker. How about that? I, no problem. I also eat pork, cow, everything. No problem. Yeah. You fuck a cow, they too? Are just, no, I fuck Americans because they are dumb oh, than cow. Oh, well, that's wrong because they can't stand the smell uh, of you because you don't use deodorant. They are dumber than donkeys and cows. Cows are better than them. Yeah. They are more smart than them. I milk them. your mother. I grab her tits and I milk her. They are more smarter than the cows. Are more smarter than you, man. They are more smarter. What is your, more what is your fake than you. name that you've chosen? Is this Brian Spector? <laughs> no, my fake name is I fuck Americans. That's not a very good name. People aren't going to respond very well to that name. Uh, yeah, they respond. They love my name. They say, "Yeah, fuck me." <laughs> you know, let me tell you this. I just went and took a shit yeah. like two minutes ago, and I bet it smells exactly <laughs> like you. Probably looks like you too. You you can't talk with me because I'm the nasty guy you ever met, man. Oh no, <laughs> no, you done. I'm the nastiest mm, motherfucker you've ever met. I am. I'm more nastier than you. I'm more nastier than you. I'll show you the whole shit world. Oh, I bet, cause you fuck men in the ass. You'll show me that whole shit world. Yeah, you can't. I'll not fuck you. I'll fuck you. I really fuck you. I'll fuck you so harder. That you will not be able to give it a call next time. Yeah, you're from a country that hasn't figured out indoor plumbing yet, so you should probably hold off on calling Americans stupid. No, we are better than you. We are highly advanced than you because we are making dams on your feet, man. Yeah, you like just like I believed your fucking IRS scam, right? Uh, you're kind. Of, yeah, you just can You're just f shouting on your telephone. Yeah, oh, I'm having a blast I over here. Yeah. I'm talking to everybody. Just, Jessica, Jessica's sitting there telling me that she's coming, that her pussy's wet, and it's fantastic. Yeah, yes, she's she's not wet. I asked her. She said she's you are so dumb and donkey head that she'll not fuck you. You should fuck sub-Saharan Africans. It's better for you, man. She gave me her cell phone number to call her after work, so I'm not that dumb. No, she bitch. she she will not do with you. She do. She had sex with me, not you, because she likes smart guys like me, not like you, dumb monkey. She likes small dicks? Is that what you said? Oh, I have a dick which is larger than you. She likes mine. She sucks every day, but do not you know, Does she know that you fuck guys? Yeah, she likes me. She fucks the smart guy like us, not like you, dumb monkey. So how's this you game supposed to up. work, you dumb monkey? <laughs> <laughs> you are learning from me, man. Learn. I am nastier than you. You should learn some words oh, from shit. me. You, you don't I'll even teach know you. What nasty is. I'll teach you. You. I'll teach you how to use languages. How to fight with the scammers. I'll teach you. Oh, you teach me because you're a scammer. You know how it uh, is on that end. Ah, I'm not a scammer. I'm a smart guy. Uh, admit to it. Admit, you to... admit you're a scammer. Come on. No, I'm a smart, I'm a smart, sexy guy who is oh, making you dance on your feet. If you say you're and, a scammer, you're, I'll quit calling, and I'll admit that you're, you're a smart, sexy guy. No, no, you you got frustrated only because of me. That's my talent <laughs> to make you frustrated. I'm frustrated with nothing. I'm making money off uh, yeah, this call. <laughs> yeah, you're making money. How? Yeah. People paid me to call and fuck with you guys. Oh my god, that's not. I also get paid to fuck you. <laughs> no, no, no. I didn't say fuck you. I said fuck with you. Because you're I'm trying to scam people you. out of money, asshole. Yeah. Uh, yes, DK. I'll fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. The many times you call me, I'll fuck you more harder, more deep oh, inside yeah. you. Oh. My, my, my dick will go inside your asshole and come from your mouth. That, that's physically impossible. That's that's possible. The, the better one would have been that I'm gonna fuck you in the ass and then make you suck my dick. Now that would have been more. No, no, I'll fuck you in your ass so it'll come from your mouth. Slide it slide through your stomach, through your lungs, and ultimately it'll come from your mouth. You, you don't know the anatomy. And I, that's that's impossible. Come on. I have a very long. It's an elastic, like fantastic form, Mr. Elastico. Have you seen Mr. Elastico? Like that. Elastical? I have deep, which is elastic. Yeah, it's a rubber I'm band. Sure it will go inside and come from your mouth. Elastic would be the word. Elastic man. <laughs> hey, 
you, you keep talking. I'm just doing yeah. some shit real quick. I also, it's, uh, if my duty is over, I'll go home right now, so I'm just wasting my time talking with you. I'm like, I like nasty guys like you. What? Did you say something? I said I like nasty guys like you. I have to go home right like, now, so I, like I don't have much. So I, don't, I don't go for you. Mm. Really want to talk with me? I can talk with you the whole time. Two hours, four hours, five hours, seven well, hours, twelve hours, no problem. I'll call you a little bit later. What? Really? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll give him a WhatsApp number, chat with me. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll chat with you. I'll go chitty, 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 chitty. I'll, uh, I'll show you my naked pictures. You can masturbate while I sing my pictures. Oh, that'd be fantastic. <laughs> that'll be sexy, yeah. You don't know this, but uh, I've had sex with my mom. Yeah, me too. You don't know who you is too? a father. I know. Oh, oh, you na you are a nasty motherfucker. You don't know who is a father. I'm a father. Father of what? A you goat? know. No, father of you. Your mom was fucking me. I fucked your mom and gave birth to you. Do you know that? No, that didn't happen. Cause I'm not a dirty smelling yeah. motherfucker. That that's your mom came. Your mom came to our country. I fucked her and that she gave birth to you. I'm seven months. No, she never went over there. Mm -hmm. You are a busted guy. Do you know that? Uh, so what? Hmm. Hey, um, that's, that's do you okay. Hear, do you want you're my me fucking your mom. You're my son. You're my son, baby. Come to me. I'm a daddy. You're a big that's, dad. That's fucking gross. Why would you ever call your kid baby? Come here, baby. That's fucking sick. Come, come. Your daddy is calling your baby. Come to me, my son. <laughs> Are you, you going to be okay? Do you have some mental like, health issues? You have the mental issues. You're calling me and getting so such slang languages. You thought that all people are dumb here? I'm not like that. Yes, that's correct. Keep the music. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Why are you hurting, man? You, you can't handle my mom? You can't handle my mom? You can't. You can't. Now tell me what happened. I came on your mom's face, man. Oh. Shh, hang on. Making a phone call. Calling your mother. Okay, call, call. No problem. Tell Jessica la to pick the phone up. She's being a bitch. La 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 la. La 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 la. Mother Chodo. Was that Mother Chodo? Mother Chodo. <laughs> Mother Chod, eh? Bandit Chod. You can give him the Mother Chod. Do you know what is Mother? You are a Mother Chod. <laughs> you, you are a Mother Chod. Mother Chod. 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 Huh? Well, this is the easiest did, money I've ever had to make. I just let you just keep on going, and I don't have to do shit. Didn't did, didn't you receive the phone call, so? Hell no, I didn't receive no phone call. <laughs> <laughs> I never give you fuckers a time of day. They're paying me to call you. Mm, that's fine. Yeah, trying to scam people. Mmm. I'll rip you. Yeah, what, oh. are you, what are you, what are you, a bakra chod? Bakra you know so many like, that's fine, you come to India man, you're um, amazing guy, you know everything. What, is that? what does that mean, chod. you're a goat fucker? Yeah, yeah bakra chod means you're a goat fucker, mother chod means a mother fucker, ban chod means you're... Belula, or whatever, yeah, <laughs> bull dick, yeah, that's what that is. Ban chod uh, means you're a sister betty fucker. Chod? You're a betty chod, you're a daughter fucker? Yeah. 
Yeah, but he said your daughter fucker. Yeah, do you know many things here. Yeah. Wow. It's amazing what the internet will teach you. It, you're learning from the internet. Yeah, that's awesome, man. You should visit. You should meet me personally, man. I'll teach you more. Okay, where are you at? I'll come meet. You can say if you give call to other I mean, scammers, you can say them. Lorikabal. Lorikabal means the hair of the dick. Oh, yeah, I usually blast the with a little cha cha chod. <laughs> what? Cha cha chod? Cha cha chod. Uncle fucker. Cha 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 means uncle, yeah. Yeah, cha cha chod. Yeah, uncle fucker. You can give it to girls. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. All right. I'm going to let you go. I got other shit to go do. Okay. All right. See you later. I'll see. Bye. <laughs> he kind of wanted to be friendly at the end of that. <laughs>